Metro swarms of illegal harm. street racers rev their engines and put the throttle on our road. Right, so corporate, the rice is silent. What's good, guys? It's your boy, Rice Corp. And today, we are putting on the intake on the Mazda Speed 3 so we can hear those nice boost noises. Let's get started on it. Alrighty, so it might not be a full tutorial because I already got like two intake install videos up for the WRX STI. But um, I'm gonna go and get, give you guys the gist of what we're doing. Alrighty, let's get started here. So most uh, air filters are gonna have these little locks down here. You pretty much just remove them all around. And I think that's it for mine. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, disconnect it. This is a 10 millimeter here. I'm just gonna loosen this all the way, just enough so that it unlocks, so that it is able to be removed. I don't think I did it all the way. Alrighty, once we unloosen it, we had to take the screw all the way out. Um, we're just gonna take this uh, mass airflow sensor out. You wanna be careful with that part. You're gonna need a regular screwdriver. That's a flathead. Find my screwdriver, so pretty much just using a screwdriver drill bit and uh, had to untwist it that way. But with that, a little more. I'm trying to do this, with, I need to get a GoPro, y'all, because trying to do this with one hand is why my videos be having trouble sometimes. All right, so with that, you don't want to touch the mass airflow, but it pops out perfect. You want to put that out of the way because you don't want to touch that and make it dirty and have to buy a new one. Don't tell me how I know or don't ask how I know. <laughs> All right, and with that, if you just give her a hard enough tug, this part will come out. And uh, the first, whoa, what is that down there? And with that, though, the first part is done. Um, yeah. Right, well, I also didn't have an extra 10 millimeter bolt down here, so I'm not sure if yours does. You might have to take that off. But I'm also not going to take off this intake. Um, I mean, inner cooler cover because you don't really need to. What we got to do is take that elbow off and take that 10 millimeter bolt off. So, bro, I almost slipped in my slides or Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, let's get started on this. For this next part, uh, it might be a little tricky. You gotta touch that, um, you gotta loosen that blue clip right there with this flathead. Just like pull it down and um, then pull just like that. I'm pulling it down and then pull the top and pull it off. I gotta put the. Mm. Alright, so this next part's a little tricky. You gotta pull that blue part down while pulling the top part up. So I'm gonna have to put the camera down. Okay. There we go. Clip this in, pull that blue end down, and she should come out. I might have to give it a tug, I'm not gonna lie, mine was a little stuck. <sighs> and you're gonna put that in the new one. Um, and then last thing is pretty much just taking off the actual last piece of the intake. Yeah, you could pretty much just tug this piece off and that is your old intake that is how you remove the old intake pretty much not too hard so now we're going to go and take that take that take that we're going to put this one back over there but we got to put the clamps on it also so don't need to go and take your clamps take that take that we got two of them so take the smallest clamp out the bag and uh, put it on the end. We're gonna go ahead and slide it on here. And force it all the way in here. After you got it on there, we're gonna go and put this elbow back in. I didn't tighten it all the way on because I wanted to go and get the elbow in first. Um, if you wanna put the elbow on before you put the whole thing back on, the inlet on, you could do that as well. Um, okay. So we got our inlet back, and we're gonna go ahead and tighten this on here. All right, once you got it on there, you can just tighten this part, and then we'll do the next part. So what you're gonna do next 
is put one of the bigger clamps on this side and we're gonna put this in here. You might need a flathead. This is kind of slipping in there. I'm trying to do this with one hand, it's not gonna work. All right, then you can put your mafo, don't touch it, back in here and tighten it back down with the same bolts you just took out and also tighten that bracket. I like working on my own car, but I also don't. And uh, the reason I do is number one, you save money because these 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 custom shops they be they be charging a lot. Number two, <clears throat> if you ever get stuck, you don't know to get yourself out of that situation. And a lot of people who buy these built cars already, they don't. And I'm not trying to be stuck on the side of the highway without knowing how to do anything, pretty much. But yeah, all done. There you have it. She looks all good. Um, but if you want to also tune your car, just so you don't got nothing to worry about, I'm going to show you guys which tune to select. So go to tune, change ECU, man. And you're going to want to select... Stage one SF, which means the intake. All right, let's see. Sounds good. Don't boost noises, boy.